This month is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. In this week's Communities at Care, CC gives us an inside look at a new facility that's being built in the South Metro to help those impacted. In downtown Shakopee, a new facility is being built. There was really a need for domestic violence victims. Southern Valley Alliance is the organization behind the build. They've been providing domestic abuse services for Scott and Carver counties for over 40 years. So we serve about a thousand clients a year for the two counties. Right now they operate out of a facility in Belle Plaine, but they're moving to Shakopee because they've outgrown that space. Over the last two years, calls to our 24 seven crisis line have more than doubled. Executive Director Christy Larson says the new space in Shakopee will help them accommodate more people, services and programs. Plus, the new location makes them more accessible. Close closer to a city center and closer to the government centers. The new facility should be completed by the end of the year. Chris and I talk virtually every other day. That's project manager Steve Poppin. Our entryway is going to be secure. We're going to have bulletproof glass right here where the receptionist will be. And the only way in here is through the receptionist. Well, the waiting area out in here, this end of the building, meeting rooms, conference rooms. Everything carefully designed and laid out to make clients feel secure. It's really going to help them have a sense of peace coming in from the trauma that they have experienced. Outgrowing one space to move into another can be a tough realization. We are sad that we have to provide these services in our community. But it's also a reassuring realization that the community trusts you during some of their hardest times. Very excited that we can be here and really be a pillar of this community. In Shakopee, Cece Gaines, CARE 11 News. All right, Cece, thank you. Larson says with potential government funding cuts, they'd appreciate the community's help in funding this project. And if you'd like to learn more about how you can help, you can just head to our website at care11.com. All right, 618.